All right, here we are with Frank Roberts. Yeah. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. There. So, where are you today? Uh, we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here, staying at um, Dad's cousins, right? Yeah. Uh, Chris and Michael. Yep, the Dutros. Uh, yeah, so stayed here last night. I got in on the plane. We have the RV right over there. Should we take a look here? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to be cruising America. We have a beautiful place right here. Yeah. Spot, so. so, how was your flight? It's pretty we're, good. Had a layover in Dallas, Fort Worth. And okay. then from there, flew to Albuquerque Airport. From what, what did you think of Dallas? It was a big airport. Big airport. It had a lot of terminals. So, that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, today we're going to head up there. The, the Sandia Crest is what it's called up there. The mountain range. It's pretty cool. You don't usually see that in Michigan much. So. It's beautiful. It's a good day. It's a little cold. This location here, they filmed the scene of Breaking Bad here, where they pick pick this, the guy up, you know, if they're if gonna get a new identity. So this is a flood uh, a flood control facility. Oh yeah. And I guess when it does rain and the water comes from the mountain, this breaks it up a bit. So yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. And so we're gonna go to a few more Breaking Bad destinations today. But all right, what you got there? Uh, my suitcase, I'm ready to go. That sounds good. I don't know why they. Picked Want to do one from the side? Yeah. Okay, here we are. Tell us about where we're at, Frank. Uh, we are up on Sandia Crest, or well, it's more that way, but this is like a ski resort area. We went down that way. You can actually ski from up here all the way down. It's pretty, a lot, compared to Michigan, a lot of skiing for sure. But so we're up here, uh, 10,300 feet. Alta, you know, restaurant over there. It's called 10-3. It's for its name. We just had some food over there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good up here. The air is a little lighter, a little windier, but it's not too terribly cold. So yeah, we just had a afternoon up here and we're going to be heading back down on the tram soon but yeah you can see for miles you know miles, like it's like 50 60 70 miles out that way it's pretty amazing so yeah so, we're, we're up here yeah. all right would you like to come back and ski down that hill sometime one day. yeah one day so, all right so, we'll yeah. uh, take a walk and look on the other side over here yeah okay tell me about this side we got Albuquerque down there. The whole Chris lives down in there. Yeah. The plane that crashed over there. Right. So, Sounding like you want to get the, the house up on the mountain over there. Yeah. Right? A lot of, yeah, cabin. We've yeah. seen Big, Bigfoot last day. A lot of. So back in the 50s, a plane crashed right down yeah, right in that down. canyon, right? It's and you can still see debris. Yeah. From here to Albuquerque, it's about 4,000 foot of altitude. Uh, Change. Pretty good. Is that is what is yeah. it? That is uh, I forgot what mountain it is, but something. It's 70 miles away. Uh, the cables are run on. Very cool. The restaurant. Santa Fe. Santa Fe, that's where we're headed to tomorrow. And you said that that was about 70 miles away? 50, yeah. Uh, oh, 50 over that there? 70. That high peak? Yeah, that peak. We're right at about the halfway point. Gorgeous. Alright. Yeah, so we'll check in with you when we get down the, down the mountain. Sounds good.
Here we are. Where are we? Uh, we are at, well, we're in um, Petroglyph National Monument, and specifically we are in the Piedras Marcadas Canyon. Well, that's not really a good one, but up there, bit, you can see some of those petroglyphs, which are basically uh, drawings done by the Pueblo people, the ancient Pueblo people. Most of them were done between the 13 and 1600s, um, and they kind of teetered out as um, Coronado when the Spanish settled the area. But yeah, they're kind of cool. Some of them are pretty obvious what they stand for roadrunners or birds, and some of them are a little more abstract, the spiritual uh, related. But no, you know, only the actual person who did it knows. So, and there's some handprints which are pretty cool. Yeah, it's a neat little thing, and they carve out, carve on the rock to make it lighter because the rock is oxidized, so it gets darker in color over time. The lighter color remains. So, yeah, it's been a good time. Good hike. All right. Back in here. Get a couple more. Alright, so we're just back to the viewer up there on that mountain top. Um, this is pretty cool. But all the way up there, the peak, you know, 4,000 feet above where we are now. So, 1,000 feet now above sea level. And then we've been walking this, uh, this trail in the Petroglyph National Monument for like a half hour maybe. So, mile and a half maybe so we're just heading back now but yeah, I could walk warm out. Alright. The lava and the yep. papa. Yeah, the lava and the mama. <laughs> yeah. Alright. There we go, guys. Nice. I got the whole studio, creative place. Hang on, I gotta wait for my phone to come back up. There we go. Cool. Queen of Cups, glad you're in the emotional realm here. This is kind of interesting. So, and the queen is, you know, kind of the essence. And so she she rules with kindness and love. Is he the, the sweetheart kind of yeah. type? Okay. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's good. Very good-hearted, oh, genuine kid. I, I can feel that about him. Just yeah. Sitting here. Yeah. A creative empathy. The queen is weaving in the heart compassion, dreams, and inner art. Nurturing, artistic, mature. It's a sensual, attractive, nurturing woman known for her compassionate, sweet, and gentle nature. She's dreamy and creative and artistic and acts directly from her heart and emotional core. There we go. Yeah. I'm sure that's part of you, right? Somewhere? Somewhere. That, that's that's what's kind of fun about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it makes you, you look at it and you go, so, you know, how does that relate to my own self revelation? Yeah. How does that? Said, how does that speak to any part of me? Kind of? So it makes you kind of just think in a different way. Yeah. Oh, I do, that. I do. March 1st, Frank Roberts. March 1st, okay, so yesterday, the 28th, we 
were in Santa Fe, we visited uh, Uncle Rick, Alexandra, and their art studios and everything like that. And they showed us around downtown, Santa Fe, the plaza, uh, church, uh, what was it called? Was it Laredo? Laredo, yeah, With Laredo Church. It had these stairs that didn't have any, they didn't use nails to build them, so it was a miracle. Um, yeah, the plaza, downtown Santa Fe. And then he showed us his art gallery and some other galleries for a little while. Up on uh, Canyon Road is what it's called. And then um, we got some pizza and went back to his house and ate and hung out for a bit. And then uh, we kind of drove up near here and now we're here at Bandelier National Monument today. So. Great. What was your favorite part of Santa Fe, would you say? Uh, just kind of walking around and seeing the it's adobe style buildings, so pretty cool. It's all the same. All right. So, yeah. And this is part on, on our way into Bandelier? Yeah. Beautiful. Trying to drive, really, but pretty windy. But... Windy and mountainous, and you drove them like a champ. I hear the engine whining now. All right, Frank Roberts, where are we? We are in Bandelier National Park. We're in the uh, cave dwelling kind of carved in, to the face of this cliff here. It's pretty cool. The, uh, the Pueblo people lived here a couple hundred years ago. And uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, pumice is like material from volcanic ash and uh, soft enough that you can really dig into it. And, uh, in inlets, you know, in the, in the rock. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Can you see yourself living somewhere like this? No. <laughs> Can we, let's take a look. Yeah, what do you know there. about down there? It's like a little town area or something like that. And they have multi-level rooms. Those, can you see those? Yeah, the little squares. Little houses, yeah, little rooms. Little housing. Whole community. And, yeah. and those circles? That's where they meet. Window right here. They probably had ladders like this to get in, right? Yeah, they probably had something to climb. I got scratches on the wall. I see something. Wow. People, people, Is it worth the hike? Yeah. All right, Frank, how far into the trail are we? We're about what, a mile or so, mile and a half. And we're going up to this, uh, what is it? Uh, alcove. Alcove house? Alcove house, yeah. A ceremonial place? A ceremonial place for the free, free Pueblo people, I guess. Yeah, this is a bit of a climb, but here we go. All right, show us the way. Yeah, I want to see how difficult it may or may not be. Flattering. All right, I'll I'll go up and aim down at Dad. Yeah. Here you go, babe. Ready? We're climbing up. How is it? I use two hands, Mom. All right, I'm on it. What do you think of that ladder? Number two. Ladder number two. Four. How many are there? Four. Four. I'll follow you. All right. All right, so we made it up the four ladders. A bit of a climb, but we're here. Look around. It's a nice little inlet cave. So look around and uh, over there. I have a fire, 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 fire area, I mean, fire, they store stuff up here, ceremony, you know, in an area. So. Cool. Now we get to go back down. Was it worth the climb? Yeah. How many steps do you think we came up on those ladders? Oh, I don't know. A few hundred. Hundred-ish. 
It was a hike. Yeah, going back down, right? Yep. Going back down. Good job, Daddy. Fifteen minutes? All right. All right, Frank Roberts, what did you think of, uh, where are we? Uh, we're at uh, Bandelier National Monument. We just finished the just hike? finished hiking it, yeah. Give me uh, just an overall view of it. About two hours, uh, it's about two mile hike. Um, yeah, it was good. There was a lot of houses, kind of dwellings in the, the cliff. And it was, yeah, I talked about it in the previous video, but Probably it was a good walk. The highlight or your favorite part? I like that, uh, the, the uh, what is it? Uh, the house? The house, yeah. <laughs> we can't remember the name of it the either. Cove. Where they did their ceremonies, which was? Al Alcove uh, dwelling or something like that. Yeah, good. way up high. So on a one to 10, what would you rate this part? Pretty good for a national monument. Recommend, highly high, recommend? High ratings, yeah. All right, we'll see you at the next see stop. Where are we headed time. next? Chaco National Park, I think. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll see you there. Yeah, see you there. Look at that eagle there that's flying right at our eye level. Wow. See it, Dad? Yeah, that's a nice hairpin turn. Oh, Feels like we're knocking on Heaven's door up this high. Been shooting that sign up. They sat her and I get a little fussy. We go off the road. Yeah, alright, there you go. Good job. One little bridge. Gonna get the giver hell, babe. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I think so. That's deep. All right, babe. We did it. <laughs> Woohoo! Holy cow! Okay, nerve wracking. What do you think of that, Frankie? That was pretty deep. A lot of pretty deep stuff there. All right. Deep too. Not as bad. I'd stay on the right. Stay right in the truck. Hi. This is Cardinal right there. Oh, taking pictures? Yeah. Nice. Well, this must get uh, collect water, get huh? Water, yeah. Frank Roberts, where are we now? <laughs> what do you think of that house? Could probably be fixed up, huh? Wow, it's beautiful. All right, Frank Roberts. Talk to me. Where are we at, kiddo? Chaco National Historical Park. And uh, yeah, this is for up to buy some hiking roofs. Kind of the canyon and stuff. But we're uh, a little late, but we we'll get a pretty good view of the coast. 
Hey, babe. So, petroglyphs. Wow, those are cool. Like up here. All right. Would you come here again? Yeah. It's worth it. How is that drive in? It's rough. How many miles of roughness? <laughs> well worth it. All right. Careful. <laughs> Did you count? No, I just kept hitting and bouncing. And bouncing. Pretty thin. Yeah, it's nice. Just check it out. That speaks for itself. Hey, Frank Roberts. Yeah, just uh, walked through Antelope Canyon. We're on the other side now. The upper canyon, anyways, and now we're headed back across some stairs. So, what did, our tour, but it was a good tour. What did you learn most about it? Uh, just kind of about its formation. And uh, yeah, it's a part of the Navajo Nation kind of park. So, that's cool to learn about. Would you do it again? Go through there? Yeah, again? yeah, maybe a different canyon, but yeah. We got a lot of good pictures in there. So. Thank you. Okay, Frank yesterday Roberts. Yesterday. 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 We, didn't... we just didn't do it. We were driving a lot. So uh, we broke up, went to Bandelier National Park, and then we drove a few hours up. And we drove on, uh, what was it, 126? I went 126. It got muddy and stuff. We ended up there, we yeah. We did end up there, yeah. Um, the highway just it, turned it into did. nothing for 10 miles. Nothing. Mud. Mud. And snow. Yeah, we're lucky we made yeah. it through there. And so then we kept driving and we eventually got to, uh, it was Chaco Canyon Cultural National uh, Park. And uh, yeah, that was good. Uh, we got there as it was closing because the road was, you know, not good. But we got to see uh, Una Vida, uh, one of the houses there, and we hiked up and we saw some petroglyphs and we saw a, it's a butte is what it's called so there's none that I can show you but it's kind of like a plateau it goes up it's pretty iconic yeah. and so that was pretty a pretty good day and then after that we uh, drove up to um, where did we drive up to? Uh, we drove all the way up to um, Deche, yeah, Canyon Deche. oh yeah yeah and we uh, parked there for the night and yeah, that was our day, a lot of driving, but it was a, a good day. So And you did most all the, driving. the driving. Yeah. You drove us through the highway the mud highway that yeah. we barely made it through. Good job. And through the mountains. Yeah, yeah, the mountains. What, so I yeah, remember we drove the highway. Mountains. mountains is gorgeous. Yeah, oh yeah. Along the cliffs. 
So, very good day. Good day. All right. Thanks for the update. All right, here we are, Frank. Yep. Where are we? We're at Horseshoe Bend there. And, uh, we're kind of overlooking it. This isn't necessarily the best view, but it's a pretty good spot. It's quiet. Interview, and uh, it's really big. It's a lot bigger than the pictures make it seem like. So, yeah. If you uh, come over here and look down there for a reference, kind of. Uh, there's kind of a little house down there, like an outhouse or something. You might have to zoom in. But it's just really small. Oh, yeah. Really small, but for the scale of reference. And uh, the river that runs through it is the Colorado River. And that all, that'll eventually run through the Grand Canyon, I believe. And it's uh, going south. Which is to the right or left? That way, to the, to the left. And so, yeah. So, it's a nice little stop. Check it out. Clear. Yeah. Here I can make it. up here so we got here for sunrise today and, uh, been, what was it here like two hours so far what, what is that down in the middle down where? That river? It's the Colorado River, I believe. It's what carved the canyon out. What do you like most about the Grand Canyon? Big. It's big. Size. It's pretty cool. All wow. right. Yeah. It's pretty majestic. Say so. All right, we'll see you at the next stop. See you then. All 
All right, Frank, can you tell us where you are today? Yeah, we're at uh, Meteor Crater right now. It's uh, east of Flagstaff, Arizona. It's a big crater, crater caused by a meteor. So. Pretty big, about a mile in diameter. Wow. A couple hundred feet down, 600 something. Pretty cool. We walked around a bit. Got a tour on it, so pretty interesting stuff. When do you know when this happened? Do they? Uh, this was like sixty thousand years ago. Sixty thousand years ago. Yeah. Wow. Do they think it might happen again someday? Well, I don't know. It's hard to track. Yeah. In space. Pretty cool. Behind. What was your favorite part about this attraction? Uh, learning about it. Where do they figure that the meteor came in? Um, either directly down or from that south side or the, the east side, like on the southeast side. And then it kind of landed over here and this exploded yeah, outward. Exploded. And then did they find any of the meteor? Yeah, some chunks here and there. What's the biggest piece they found so far? Like a thousand pound piece. A thousand pounds? It's inside, huh? Yeah. All right, would you recommend anyone come visit this? Yeah, stop. Bye. All right. Thank you. Here we go. Got a video of me now, babe. Yeah. Frank! How's Twinker doing? Twinker. Twinker? Twinker. Quaker. Like oh, I thought he said Twinker. You missed Tink you mixed up Tinker and Quaker. Twinker. <laughs> Maybe that's a Michigan thing, right? <laughs> All right. How's your horse, babe? Frank, where are we now? Uh, we're at Montezuma Castle National Monument, and uh, back there is uh, the Montezuma Castle. So it's pretty cool. It, uh, it holds just yeah, 35 people. Built in the old, you know, 1100s to 1400s until they left, and uh, yeah, it's impressive how they built that into the the cliff there. By the Sinagua uh, people, culture, you know. It's cool. scary here you miss make the wrong step you could be hurting it's all good though huh? let's get him behind near what is now Flagstaff. People lost their kids here.
Wow, look who pair. Hey Frankie, look up. Nice, Walnut Canyon. Wait, you looked away. One, two, three. Thank you. Hey Frank, where are we at? Uh, we're at Walnut Canyon. We're on the Highland Trail Loop. loop. And, uh, got some houses in the, the wall, in the cliff side again. Cool. There's a natural overhang that they used for their houses. So, we can look inside. Can we look inside here? Yeah. Stay there and stay out of the wind and the snow. And the heat. Looks pretty Good. cozy. There's more than just this. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in the walking along. How far down the canyon are we? Maybe halfway, it feels like. You can't really see the bottom yet. But probably halfway. Down. No one. And this is near where? Uh, flight. We're east of Flagstaff, Arizona. All right. Go again. Well, what? I'm just recording the uh, how long it is. This one's a lot bigger. A lot of well, there's a lot of them. You know, over back there we saw some that we just walked. Arizona walnut. Oh yeah, you'll see it in a minute. Yeah. All right, heading up. Half a mile down, half a mile back up the mountain. All right, Frank, anything you'd like to wrap up about Walnut Canyon? No, it's pretty cool though. We got to hike down in it a bit and you can kind of see the view combined view. It's snowing pretty good, but it's cool. Good stop. We're actually kind of at the bottom, right? Headed back up a long ways. Yeah, we are. We do have a bit of a hike there. But... All right, we'll see you at the top. Yeah. All right, Frank, um, we are ready to head back up this mountain. Canyon. 
All right, Frank, we're ready to head back up this canyon. Can you imagine what life would be like to live here? Interesting, it's pretty steep. How many years ago? Maybe 700. Wow. Where did we come from? We started up there at that lodge that we just went like, like, down and around, just kind of like loop. And uh, now we're headed back. All right, we'll see you at the top. Still pretty deep down there. Yeah, this is fun. This is 
fun time. Alright. All right, Frank, our last night in LA. What'd we do tonight? We, uh, today or just tonight? Oh yeah, no, today. It's been a long day. We got yeah, up. Yeah, uh, well, I think earlier we were uh, off-roading a bit, right? Uh, Where was that at? That was in, uh, that was, yeah, in uh, Mojave, right? Technically Mojave in the Mojave Desert. Desert, so that was cool. And then we drove a few hours and we, um, the Lakers Warriors game at a crypto.com arena. So that was a fun. pretty awesome. It was a pretty game. great game, yeah. What were the highlights? LeBron James dropped like 50 some points. Wow. Maybe. So and who won? Cool. The Lakers won. Lakers won. It's good. Yep. Good deal. Yep. All right. Yeah, last, it was good last day, and then we ate here at uh, the Hobbit. The Habit. Habit. Nice. Yeah. So, did you get to do everything you wanted to do on this trip? Yep. It was a good trip. Really. So, and I have another week here. So. And now, what are you doing? Uh, hang out with my friends, you know. Sending so your yeah, parents so, home? Yep, sending them home. <laughs> well, we loved it. It was nice hanging out with you, bud. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad you're having fun with your friends this week. Yeah. So, have fun and All be right, safe, well. and we love you.